Hello, this is the Trade Tech U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 10th of December, 2019. Hope you had a good trading day. It was not that eventful, although the futures were big for us. Some of the biggest winners we've had in futures in a while uh, out of the gate. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market futures form. Um, nothing. Right, We're near the highs. We end up with a negative day. We'll talk about that. We gapped down. We filled the gaps. We were higher, but we were lower. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute. In terms of, uh, let's just go through the daily charts and see what we get. Crude oil down nine cents to fifty-eight ninety-three. Gold down th up three cent thirty cents. Doesn't matter. Uh, S and P cash loses nine ninety-five. The Nasdaq one hundred down thirty-four sixty-three. Remember, there's a floating island there. If we gap down tomorrow, that would be bad. Socks down nine point two three. Uh, the and biotechs down 20.88. So remember, the biotechs have been so dead all year, and they finally went on a run that mattered in November, and we're up at the, near the highs of Russell 2000, the small cap index down four. Uh, the VIX up 2.24. The trend closes at 1.08. That puts the 10-day moving average at 0.99. Nasdaq volume two point, uh, basically 2.1 billion shares. It was looking really weak though, with just 20 minutes left. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, advanced decline ratio on NASDAQ was negative 398, so more stocks down than up on the New York plus 103, so just barely positive there. Google gains $3.60, that's a new all time closing high there. Apple down $3.79, Netflix down $4.85, Amazon down $2.09, Tesla up 369, Facebook gains 29 cents. All of this is a blip. It was a really boring day in the markets overall. Goldman Sachs down 280. 13 sell signal on Goldman Sachs. Let's just be aware of that. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, was up 30 cents. The Dow was down 100. And in terms of intraday action, here's the Feynman chart. And again, it doesn't look very interesting. We're inside of Friday's range, except for a small dip late in the day. The gap is the thing they have to be worried about. Like, if we were to gap up a little bit on Tuesday and then break and head lower and go fill that gap, that's going to be an interesting trading day. And that's what you got to look for. You gap down a significant amount. You got a gap above to fill. You got a gap below to fill. That's less interesting. So that's where we're at from that perspective. Nasdaq side looks about the same. Uh, in terms of. Economic data coming out on Tuesday. We've got the uh, NFIB Small Business Index at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Non-farm payrolls and unit labor costs at 8.30 and the 10-year bond auction at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. That's it. Charge as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday.